What you mean you don't recognize me? I'm DJ Daz one the biggest DJ in your apartment complex. <laughs> <laughs> oh I don't know why I still have that drop up when I own a house, but whatever. <laughs> well, I'm a co-owner, but still, I don't rent anymore, so eh, figure it out for yourselves. Anyway, that joint you just heard previously was my man Reject alongside the great and always living Mr. Ed OG. Joint was called Don't Want to Hear. The beat was kind of... Teddy Boxman. I met him once. Teddy Boxman is a beast. If anybody uh, doesn't know him, he's doing his thing right now with Mac Miller. He's doing his uh, thing with Apathy and all that right now. I know he's done some songs for the group called The Camp. Good friends of yeah, mine. They're cool people. Shout man. out to my man, Accelera, Dece, and Grime. Yeah, they're beasts. Oh, oh, man. I they're battled all three of them. And, yeah. I, and I grew up listening to them, too. They're crazy. Hey, crazy. Man, I'm a, all, all you MCs out there that claim you can battle, <laughs> go in the ring with etc. Adis and say that again. Dude, etc. man, I do not think anybody can possibly beat him. I do. Maybe, I, maybe there's a Shiz couple people. Vicious. I know Shiz Vicious, my man in Rosendale, he's an absolute monster. Nah, there's a guy that doesn't even rhyme anymore. Um, he's part of a group, well, he was part of a group called OVM. His name's Alias. He, oh, I think he could take them. I think Rex could take a, oh, etc. Yeah. I know Acrobatic could probably take et cetera, but other than that, take everybody out here. <laughs> but other than that, uh, I don't think there's that too many people that can go line for line with et cetera or Deese or Grime. Like I said, I battled all three of them at respective times, and they've served me hard. But they're very good friends. We've always we've done shows together when I was rhyming, so those are good people. Yeah. If you're out there listening, I want y'all in here. We gotta definitely get the camp over here, cause what a freestyle session that'll be. Whoa. All right. Let's get back to the hour hand as you hear the beat in the background by my man DJ Premier. Rest in peace to the late gay, late great guru on on man. The legend guru. Where were you when you heard about the news about Guru and how did someone that impactful, you know, develop you? I actually I heard that when I think I think I might have been in like Virginia or like New York or something like that. And I remember someone told me, I remember XL, the creators, who's my uh, my uncle, he actually called me and he was like, yeah, you heard about the news? I was like, what news? And he was like, yeah, Guru passed, dog. I was like, what? Because I always wanted to work with Guru, man, since I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that was one of my you know, biggest dreams. You know? Yeah. So. Unfortunately, you know DJ Premier is still doing his thing strong though. Yeah, he's doing his thing. He got he, some new stuff with Ed and stuff on that new job. Oh man, I can't wait. He's got Ed. new stuff with every and listen, Rex. listen. But um, you know, again, just reflecting on it, like someone you know is dope as Guru was and influential as Guru was with the many records and the many, you know, over the many, many years. I mean, I think every album that Gangstar came out with was a classic record. I don't think they had one garbage album ever, in my opinion. Even No More Mr. Nice Guy, which really didn't get a lot of shine, that still was a, a dope record. But someone as powerful as him, how did it impact you and, you know, the upcoming MTs of today to see someone out of this city who made it? Basically. Yeah. I mean, basically, it was like, you know, it came to a reality. Like, one day you can be here, and next day you can't. You know, yeah. I mean, who? I didn't expect him to have a pass. You know? Not I mean, that early. That was random. You know, I was like, what? I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I, you know, it's not like, you know, it's like kind of one of those struck things. Like, I remember when I was a little kid when Biggie passed. It was just like, you know, click. Like, right. Like, right away, you know, it was just like, oh, he's done. You know? And yeah. It's, just, it's crazy. Losing too least, many. At least his voice will live on. And he's oh. Plenty of records that will be out there forever, you know? Man, we could be here for hours doing Gangstar Records. We could <laughs> truthfully be here. All right. So like I said, we got my man Reject here. The joint you just heard was called Don't Want to Hear It. It featured the legendary Ed OG. And off air, he was just telling me, yo, I got more stuff for you. I got stuff with Term. I got stuff I with got Shook. Stuff I got stuff with Shug. Static. Oh, yeah. Man. It's coming. It's coming, baby. Let's talk about this record, man. Does the album have a title? Yeah, the album already got a title. It's going to be called Far From Industry, man. Okay, I like the title. I like where you're going with that. It all means, basically, I've been an independent artist since I was 14, you know? So, I mean, I've been running with, you know, my own squad. We've been doing independent shows. We've been selling out independent shows, like, you know, for years now. We've been, you know, selling our own merch, uh, pressing up our own CDs, you know. Basically, I'm looking at it as like, you know, the industry never reached out to me. I had to come and grab it. You know, I had to come and attack it, tackle it, you know, grab it by the neck, dog, and be like, you know, you know, you know who the boss is in. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I had to do. You know, coming up white and rapping and stuff like that, it's, you know, like you said earlier, it's not yeah. as easy, you it's- know. 
It's, it's not accepting. No, it is not. It's definitely not. Um, to anyone listening that's an up and coming artist in any type of genre or, you know, whatever the case may be, what words of advice would you give to all the up and comers that want to seek a career in this cutthroat industry? What would you say to them? I mean, I would start off, you know, with getting your stuff together. You know, I mean, you gotta, you gotta buy your beats. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta grab bangers. I mean, spend the money, man. You know, get your collabs up, get your, you know, get your credibility, do as many shows as you can. I mean, I'm only 20 right now. I just turned 20. So, I mean, you know, you can take it from me. I mean, I grinded since I was 14. I was barely in school. My mom would be calling me. I'd be in another state. She'd be like, yo, where are you? Where are you? I'd be like, I'm in Connecticut doing a show. Bye. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's how it was, you know? So you got to grind hard if you really want to be a hip-hop MC nowadays. You got to grind hard, especially if you're white. You know what I'm saying? You really got to grind hard. You got to show them, you know, the lyrical knowledge and that you're a beast, you know, that you'll take on, you know, whatever, you know, whatever comes in your way. <laughs> <laughs> he said, especially if you're white. I'm actually get deeper. With, I'm going to get deeper with that because I don't think really skin color or, or ethnic background nowadays has a lot to do with it. It's more or less now if you rhyme like Waka. You're gonna get e- you're good you're gonna get in easier than if you came on a lane trying to be Lupe. Okay. If you know what I mean, it's like okay, I understand exactly what you're saying. You know, See, the Southern rap is very big right now, and I, I you know you know the East Coast rap is still up there. You know, the West Coast is doing whatever you know. But I'm saying the Southern rap right now, like Waka and Gucci, I mean they're on top right now. And I mean basically, if you don't rhyme like that or whatever, you know, like it's gonna be a lot harder for you to come out. You know, I mean a lot of people like that down, you know, that Southern swag. You know, they love that stuff. Um, they love it. Uh, I'm more of a hip hop, East Coast, you know, lyrical, like you know, knowledge kind of MC. Yeah, and that's what I think um, is missing in the game. But a lot of people don't see it that way. And I wasn't just calling out those names to say that the South is big enough because there's cats on the East Coast that I think suck. But because they're, you know, got that dance hit or that pop it, and it is what well, you know money. people want to hear. It just signs away from what I think the basis of this rap game really, really is. And it just, yeah, it, it just takes away from you know the people who work. Well, honestly, I don't even call this hip hop no more. Honestly, I will tell you the truth, man. This is how I feel. It's I a minstrel show. Else. But I mean, I think uh, it's not even hip hop no more, honestly. And that's not me dissing or anything. That's just it's not hip hop, man. Wow, he's keeping it well. You know, I can't I argue. Never hear hip hop unless it's twelve o'clock on ninety four point five. Wow, you know, it's the only time I listen to it. <laughs> wow, you understand? He so, said he never hears hip hop unless it's at twelve. All I hear is Nicki Minaj. I mean, you know, Charlotte, she's doing her thing, and you know, Lil Wayne and all that. I mean, I respect the hustle, but I mean, to me, that's not hip hop anymore. Hip hop wow. is gangstar. Hip hop is LOG. Hip hop is Slade. Hip hop is uh, Jason, XL, Creators, uh, you know, Biggie Smalls, you know, Easy E. That's 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 the real hip hop. Wow, that's he's really putting cool. he's putting it, he's saying it bluntly, ladies and gentlemen. That's yeah. what hip hop is, and uh, he's gonna hold it down. That's what's up. So, um, if you're just now tuning in. And hopefully you are just tuning Well, not just now But if you are tuning in And, uh, you know Hopefully you're enjoying what you're hearing This man's speaking some stuff And they're eating pizza Like, yeah, eating pizza, eating right now, pizza. Down the street, Smells <laughs> good up in here I was like, wait a minute And I know the Domino smell Because I'm always there And I was just like, wait a second I smelled that What yeah, y'all grubbing on? He with the box He was like, oh Oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Yeah. I well, I'm, I, I always eat. Like you know, for all those that know the, the the thin people out there, we 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 love to eat. Like, yeah, we love to we love to eat, and um, yeah, we love to eat. So, uh, what we're gonna do right now is I am going to try to find the second joint that I have from this man because Edition did send me a second one. And I'm hopefully I, I I know I put it in here I know I did because Serato was so easy to it's find stuff. In this light, yeah, the one that he sent must have been in this light. Mm. Those, those are the singles. Those are the ones dropping uh, May 10th on iTunes. You can grab the singles. Both of those. So um, in the meantime, while I'm searching for it, because I'm gonna keep it real on radio. I don't I don't sugarcoat nothing. If I say I'm looking for somebody's song, I'm actually looking for someone's song. <laughs> like I'm that open. I'm Wait, that real. It. But in the meantime and in between time, let's talk about the record. Let's talk about who you got on it and the release date. And if you want to talk about some upcoming shows that you got so people can see you, do the damn thing. All right, man. Well, uh, you know, 
Yeah, go by reject, obviously. You know, Far From Industry will be dropping uh, the fourth quarter of 2011. Right now, I'm working, uh, you know, a lot. I mean, I just dropped the mixtape that I did at Leeds. Is you can get that on Dap Piff. It's live from the greenhouse. That was from, uh, I did it with my group, uh, Crook Firm out of Brockton. Uh, they're real talented, all the kids, you know, they're real good. Um, so, you know, I let people sit on that. And then uh, Far From Industry, that will be coming out fourth quarter. And, um, I mean, I'm working with Archetype in Cambridge on that. You know, that's my engineer, my main engineer. And, uh, you know, it's coming out pretty lovely. You know, I mean, I'm, of course, I'm, you know, you already know I got NOG on there. Um, you know, uh, me and Big Sugar are going to be getting up. Um, me and Terminology, uh, you know, Static Selecta. You know, we recently just saw uh, talks. I'm going to be actually getting a couple uh, bangers from him. Um, you know, more Teddy Rockspin, you can look out definitely for more Teddy Rockspin beats, uh, you know, some Mano Domini beats, some European beats, maybe some Snow Goons beats, you know, I mean, basically, I'm making like 30, 35 tracks and picking, you know, 17 out of the 30 tracks that I really like, you know, I mean, I think you have to make a lot of joints nowadays and then you gotta pick them precisely, you know. That's real, that's real talk, man yeah. I totally, totally agree So what we're gonna do right now Is we're gonna run some quick tunes oh, yeah. And then we're gonna be back with this man So he can get on with the rest of his day And I can oh, get right. on with the rest of my It's been a long day so oh, far yeah. Alright All right. So we'll be back We're just gonna run a couple of joints real quick And we're gonna get that other joint on for you So let's get it cracking Come on Yeah, yeah 